So, in the past sections, when we have been graphing functions, they have all had a common feature. And that is for any value of x you pick, there is only one value of y. So, sometimes there can be um, two variables are related by an equation that produces more than one value of y for a given value of x. For example, let's say we have the function y squared equals x. Now, if we plug in, let's say, uh, x, let's, let's say we plug in 9 for x, we're going to be getting multiple values for y. For example, if we plug in x equals 9, then y squared equals 9, and then y would equal positive 3 or negative 3. Uh, at the same time, if we plug in x equals 25, or negative 25, then if we say y squared equals negative 25, there's going to be no solution that proves that to be true. So, uh, continuing with this uh, sort of thinking, if we produce a table of x and y, if we plug in uh, 0 for x, we're going to be getting one value 0 for y. If we plug in 1 for x, we're going to be po get positive 1 or negative 1. Uh, 4 will get us positive 2 or negative 2. 9, we already saw, is going to get us positive 3 or negative 3. And any negative values, such as negative 1, is going to get us no solution. So, drawing this graph now, we can set up our axes such as this, and it's going to be sort of like, it's going to be a sideways parabola, starting with the point 0, 0, and if we plug in x equals 1, we're going to get positive 1 and negative 1. x equals 4, we're going to get positive 2 and negative 2, and the graph is going to look like this. So, if you substitute a value of x and that produces more than one value of y, then we'd say that y is not a function. However, they are still related, so we would call it instead a relation. So, that leads us to the definition in that a relation is just any set of ordered pairs. So, oops, pairs. So we can plug in any value of x, and we'll get a value of y. Though maybe we can put, maybe we'll get more than one value of y. Um, but there is a relation between the two. A function, on the other hand, is a relation for which um, there's exactly one value of the dependent variable for each value of the independent variable. So I'm gonna write that down. So with this information, we can look at the graphs of different, uh, of different equations and we can determine if it is a function or a relation. So going back to this uh, original equation, we had y squared equals x. And so for these different values of x, we're getting more than one value of y. So we know now that this is not a function, but it is a relation. So we're going to call it a relation. not a function. So now we can use what's called the vertical line test if we have the graph to determine if it's a relation over or a function. So drawing the graph we know that it looks like a sideways parabola and it's gonna look something like this. So we have these points and remember 
the vertical line test says that uh, we can draw a vertical line through any point on the graph and if it is a function it will only cross once. So now if we draw a vertical line test, if we draw a vertical line right here, it's going to intersect the graph at this place and this place. So we know that it's not a function. So for these two graphs, we're going to determine if it is or is not a function. So for this first one, we can use the vertical line test to determine if it is. So if we draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph, it's only going to go through one point. So that shows that um, there's for every value of x, there's only one value of y. So we're going to say that this is a function. Now for this graph, if we do the vertical line test, at here, at any point in the graph, it's, at any vertical line, it's going to go through more than one point. So that says for every value of x, there's more than one value of y. So this is a relation, but it is not a function.